Welcome back to Nine World Chronicles. As always, thank you for stopping in. As we talk about more natters and gods and deities from ancient times. And this is a deity here known as Anuke, a very beautiful goddess who is one of the oldest deities of the Kemetic Pantheon. She was an ancient goddess of war and was represented as a woman in battle dress carrying a bow and arrow. Remember, the bow and arrow obviously was a very important long range weapon uh, for the ancient Kemetic people and how they established their kingdom. The land of Punt was called the land of the bow. Uh, dictating their proficiency with that weapon in war. They were able to shoot at extremely long distances with great accuracy, to shoot moving off of a chariot, and it became their primary weapon as they established, expanded, and protected their kingdom. Now, this particular deity, Anuke, was attested to in the pyramid text and the coffin text as early as the Old Kingdom. By the Middle Kingdom, though, it seemed like there was not much conversation about her. She was not attested to uh, much further. And there are other natters who share similar names, Anuket uh, being one of them. And it is possible that she was simply an aspect of that deity or perhaps even absorbed by her. But her role as a war goddess sets her in a very different uh, grouping, again, more with Sekhmet or Paquette or Bast. So there were not a lot of female netters associated with war from that land of antiquity. Now, her sacred stone is said to be the bloodstone, which is common for warriors as, as it is linked to vitality, vitality and both healing energy. She is shown at times to be the consort of Anuris, who himself is a netter associated with war. Later on, she becomes associated with Nephthys, who was a goddess of death, and to a lesser degree, she became associated with Aset. In some texts, Anuket is referred to as their younger sister, which would make her a part of the initial uh, generation of comedic deities. Eventually, she evolved into a more nurturing deity. Again, I said she may have been absorbed by Anuket or simply have gone by that name. And the Greeks associated her with the deity who was Hestia, who also shows a connection to that same bloodstone. So again, thank you for stopping in our Chronicles. Again, I enjoy and love showing representations of these beautiful deities. As always, I ask that you hit that like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when new videos drop.